So this is um, a little tutorial to show you how to do some um, open sound control practice. So for the first part, we're going to send messages from Super Collider to processing. And this just gives us a chance to practice um, creating the necessary sort of information, the necessary structures. In, in this case, if we're if receiving in Super Collider, we're going to create these receivers called OSC defs. And so I'll show you, say, like the first one or two. And then um, it would be a good idea for you to practice and make several more. Okay, so when we want, it's quite straightforward in uh, processing, I mean, sorry, in Super Collider, when we want to receive an open sound control message, uh, we just use this thing called OSC def, O S S S C def, C def, and the two parentheses to define the object. And usually it takes just a few arguments. The first is just the internal um, Super Collider name. So we'll just call this uh, whatever, T1, okay? And then the function where everything happens, and then the, the name that we're going to uh, test for. This one, say, saw. And remember, it always has that forward slash uh, that always appears before every OSC, we'll call it OSC address, or the name, and let's call the saw. Okay, saw on, how about that? All right, and then everything else happens in this function, okay? So uh, just one thing to remember, so I'll just put a couple extra lines there. One thing to remember, uh, if we have args, the, they're already preset args come through. Um, I always forget what they are. So let's look at the help file. And uh, it's always, um, Message time address receive port. So message that will be um, an, uh, an array, an indexed list of all the data coming in with that message. Okay. And then time, a timestamp when it came in, address, the address it came from, and then receive port. That's the port you're receiving on. Okay. For our purposes, we really just do need just this message. You might not even need that. So I'll leave the arg message there. But in fact, you know, never mind. I mean, it's good explanation, but never mind. We're just going to do something. So I'm just going to create a little dummy object here. Well, not a dummy object, but uh, I'll just say A equals, it's just a sound making object, A equals a quickie. Um, uh, saw. Well, so if we um, insert the saw into the curly brackets or any sort of U generally, um, and then dot play, it'll play. Okay. Now, so we can do that and just have saw on. And let's give it a more unique name. We'll just put um, whatever, S1. And we'll copy that bit of code into there. So basically, this is saying that every time we receive this message saw on, we're just going to play this uh, sawtooth wave. Okay. So, and we'll just go ahead and create another one called saw off. And then we're going to use this one called dot release. S1.release, and we'll just do it over two seconds. Okay. Uh, don't worry about these things so much. They're really just shorthand uh, for playing something. I just want to give you an example of using the OSC def to play something and then to turn it off. All right. Uh, so uh, what we'll do is, um, and then, you know, we can have a frequency here. Uh, let's do, um, we'll just use our MIDI CPS uh, thing. So let's do bit middle C again. C dot MIDI CPS. Okay. We'll do something like that. All right. So uh, we don't need this bit of code. So now we set up this, uh, we'll just call this T2. Sorry, we do have to change that name T2. Or we can just call it, a lot of times I call it the same as the OSC address. So we'll call it saw on and saw off. Okay, so we just send those. Well, let's 
make sure we boot the server. I'm going to recompile here. Boot. And then we send both these OSC things to and saw off, saw off. That means they've both gone. Okay, so now these are just receiving. They're waiting to receive a message. So let's then move on to uh, super uh, processing and let's set that up. Okay, so there's a few things we need to do. We need to import the um, OSCP5. So we're going to import library. I'll just go OSCP5 and it'll do it for me. I have to set up a... Um, uh, engine a machine OSC machine. I'm going to call that uh, OSCP5. That's the data type. It's going to just call it OSC. Okay. And um, I need to uh, get, get a receiver as well, or a sender, I'm sorry. So we're going to have a net address and we're going to call it SC. Okay. And then we set those things up in, um, in the setup. So void setup. Remember, setup runs once at the beginning when you run your code and then that's it. We'll do a size. And then we'll start setting up the OSC. So we have to initialize the OSC equals me uh, equals new OSCP5 and, and then it takes a number of arguments which are this which means the root and then the port number we want to sign it. I'll just go one, two, three, two, one. Okay. And then we have to set up the net address too. So SC equals new net address. And it's going to be the uh, IP address. One, two, seven dot zero dot zero dot one being the local host. And then the, the built in, uh, the default port for, um, SC Lang is five, seven, one, two, zero. Okay, so we have that. Now, what we want to do is we want to send a message uh, with our keyboard. So we're going to have to set up a draw, even though we're not really drawing anything. Though we can do that eventually. But since this is just practice, we'll just uh, not worry about it. Draw. Okay. And then we'll just have a, it just needs to be running. And then I'm going to do everything in my, uh, in my keyboard. So I'm going to say void key pressed. And um, we're going to have a if statement, key equals, or two equal signs now. And then we're just going to, I'm going to use the top two rows of keys. So my one key will be on. Um, and then my two key, my Q key will be off. Okay. So if has these curly brackets and we'll say if key equals one, then we're going to send this message. And so here's the part that we really need to practice. I know there's a number of, bunch of this other preliminary, preliminary stuff, but we're going to make an OSC message, OSC message. We'll call it M1 and then equals new OSC M E S S A G E. And the first argument is the thing where the, the address. So saw when oh, I think the only argument, Okay, oops, font's a little bit too big, just so you can see. Okay, so there we go. So we're going to create a new message there, and we're going to add to that message. Well, we don't need to add anything, actually, because we're just turning it on and off, just with the message. It receives, saw on, it turns it on. It receives, saw off, it turns it off. And we'll send the message. So we'll say... Um, OSC, that's our OSC engine dot send. And we're going to send the message M1 to SC. Uh, I believe that's right. And you can always check if you are in doubt. You can go to the examples and you can go to the library there, OSC, OSC P5 in the contributed, contributed libraries. And uh, we'll pick up send to receive. And just look at the way they formatted mouse press. OSC message test. One, two, three. My message reload lo, lo location. So the only thing we don't have is this add. 
So OSC message my message, new OSC message, and then the uh, OSC address, and then OSCP5.send. They call theirs OSCP5. I just call mine OSC, the message name, and then the place you're sending it to. Okay, and so we got that right. All right, so if all goes well, and we run this, so this is still already on and waiting. These OSC defs are on and waiting. If we run this, Uh, every time we press one, now this has to be in the front, has to be active. We should get the saw on. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we don't have anything for saw off, so I'm just going to command period this to turn it off. Okay, I might have to send these OC defs again. I'll just do that just in case. Okay, so obviously we need another saw off. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Well, maybe, maybe we shouldn't copy and paste. Maybe it's a good idea to practice these things. So we're going to do the same thing. If and then key equals and we'll use q the one under oh, we have to do the single quotes q um, and then the curly brackets and then we'll create a new osc message we'll call it m2 equals new osc message and we'll go saw oh off and then send M2, that, don't forget, SC, there we go. So if we run this, one should turn it off, two should turn it off. Okay, well, there you go. All right, so your job then now is to create a number of OSC defs. Uh, you can maybe just create... Um, Maybe something similar or use a different UGen if you want. Just something similar that follows this pattern. Uh, just remember to change a few things. So I will uh, do one for you. The next one should be OSC, oh, OSC def. And then remember to change this name because if you don't use... So that's one way you can tell you're copying and pasting what you shouldn't do because uh, this is a good practice. You need to change that name. So let's say uh, let's do a blip. B-L-I-P on... Flip on. Okay. And then I'm going to create the um the name, the address. Flip on. Okay. And uh we'll do change that name as well. So you have to make sure you change this name, you have to ch make sure you change the address. Okay. And make sure you change the variable name. So S2, for example equals and then we're just going to put that in a function we'll say blip um, ar frequency let's make that uh 67 67 dot okay and then close our function dot play okay and then blip off will just be the same as this except you're going to change that change that and change the thing and you can change the release time if you want and it'll make be S2 release, so that'll be blip off, okay? And then you're gonna make another set of keys. I guess you can use two and W or whatever two keys you want. Just copy that syntax and say blip on and blip off. So why don't you do, you know, three or four of those. Do a blip, maybe a sign, a square, or you can just do a bunch of saws at different frequencies, different pitches, that sort of thing. Just make sure you're changing these and it just gives you the idea that this is gonna make some sound. Um, yeah, and you can really do anything. It's just whatever's in this function. So instead, if I wanted to blip on to, instead of this, I'll just comment it out. Instead of this, I wanted to just say print something. Hello, dot post line, post ln. Okay, then if I do that, and I'll just copy this for expediency, though for you, it's a good idea that you type it to, and then blip on. And then we'll just make this three, three, run that. If we do that, I'll just highlight this so we can see the print, but this needs to be active if the keys are gonna work, and I two, and it says hello, see? So it just posts hello. Okay, so that's what it does. So it can do anything, it's just a receiver, it's waiting. So 
there you go. Go ahead and go off and practice this. It's a good idea to practice these. Uh, again, type it from scratch. And um, the next, the follow-up on this will just change directions. We'll send messages from uh, SuperCollider to processing and maybe change something in the graphics.